Large assemblies could very well use a, a tool that would work from top down to be able to investigate all sorts of different variations that the product might have. Tooling bomb is, is, a, is a, significant, um, a significant bill of materials. Uh, and tools do have different configurations uh, and you do have to manage those configurations. Right now those are, uh, those are managed in a, in a fairly painful um, manual um, but semi-automatic process. Um, we essentially maintain them through tables. Uh, and, uh, and handle the data from there. The management of multiple variations of a complex design is a problem for the design engineer who's responsible for the original design because it can be a tremendous time sink and grows exponentially with com complexity. And some of the variations that might be managed would not necessarily have to be done by that engineer. I could definitely see the value in being able to uh, have access to the capability that would allow an analysis of variations, changing parts out, and, and be able to really just access that from, uh, from another more lightweight, maybe uh, useful tool that, that addresses that issue directly. It would give an organization a lot more flexibility managing these design variations if people like uh, production planners, uh, marketing managers, uh, others involved in determining product variations could actually manipulate the model.